Hi, everybody. <clears throat> Carl Schilling, I'm the founder and CEO of the Advocacy Network. And as promised, what I wanted to do here today was to go over um, a uh, potential consultation for the middle class millionaire plan. So this is both for the public as well as uh, people who are uh, interested in becoming a financial concierge and actually, you know, providing the service that this uh, middle class millionaire plan uh, gives to people. So it's brief, it's short, and uh, have a little bit of a slide uh, presentation behind it. So uh, the best way, and and of course, seeing it's not interactive, uh, any questions I ask will probably be rhetorical in a sense, right? Um, but in uh, in doing a consultation, it would be more give and take than what I'm going to show you here, okay? So we get started. So here we go. Today, what I want to do with you, my intent is to help you become aware of some very, very important information on becoming financially independent, okay? So we're going to cover three key elements here. One, it's about increasing income. Two, it's about business development. And three, it's about your own personal bank. So let me just pull up um, a little bit of information for us to get started. Okay, so I like to call this um, bet on yourself. Right. But these are going to be the three key elements that I want to talk to you today about how to actually bet on yourself to become financially independent, uh, because, quite frankly, between you and I, no one else is going to do it. And the middle class certainly has only the only issue for the middle class has been, I think, not getting the right information at the right time and not be totally aware of the things that can make you financially independent. So it's about increasing your income. Now, many times you're going to sit in front of someone who's going to come to you in, in, in the financial services industry. And for 70 years, almost 100 years, the message has been about saving and it's been about reducing debt. OK, well, <clears throat> neither of those are going to get you to financial independence. And we've seen that over the last 100 years. It, it doesn't get you there. OK, that doesn't help. If people were going to save, you would save more, wouldn't you? If you had the ability to save more, you'd save. <clears throat> you don't need to be educated on that. If you had the ability to pay down debt earlier or sooner so you could pay off interest faster, you'd do that, wouldn't you? Of course you would. But it's like, you know, the problem is uh, not with education on savings or education on paying down debt sooner. The problem, the core issue and the solution is increasing your income. The more income you have, the more ability you have to do things such as save and pay down debt. Does that make sense? Of course, you need to increase your income. Now, there's two ways, uh, and we're going to talk about today about doing that, but also it requires an entrepreneurial mindset. Because, of course, if you're a person who's an employee, we look at direct income. You need three types of income, direct, residual, and passive. So if we look at that um, E under direct, that's the usual employee positioning. So most people are employees of some company, of some organization, of some small business, but they're an employee and they get paid. They exchange their time for money and they get paid directly. And that's direct income to them. Now, the ability to increase your income in that position is very minimal. Uh, yeah, you might get somewhere between two to 5% a year on some merit-based, um, um, you know, some merit-based increases on your income, some promotional levels. Occasionally, you might go to a higher level and, and get a substantial income for a while, but it's limited to just that one level of income. <clears throat> now, on the residual side, now you got direct and residual. Residual income is simply ongoing income for work you've already done. Normally, it's with sales profession historically, or owning a business, there's residual income, obviously, as your client base grows, depending on what kind of business you're in, and you consistently continue to earn additional dollars from the client, uh, the customer base, the client base you've already created. So that's usually in sales, right? Now, the passive income side comes from um, your own individual investing. Right? So that's passive income. So we're going to show you now how to increase your income and at the same time create all three types of these incomes. Does that make sense? So you can become aware 
of how to make this happen. And then you'll be financially independent. Okay, so for the three types of income, we discussed uh, direct, residual, and passive. We want to talk about creating a business. Now, you don't have to, if you're an employee, you can still have a business. You know, you don't have to uh, give up one to do the other. You can roll your way into it and grow it, okay? But business creation is going to allow you to have the three types of income. First of all, in any business, you have tax-advantaged income. You have capital appreciation because the business is growing, so it becomes worth more from a capital perspective. And then you have an exit strategy at some point. Old man told me one time when I was in the uh, uh, business brokerage side, you know, he asked me, Carl, you know, why do you start a business? And I answered with several, you know, question, several answers I thought were logical. And he said, no, 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 no. There's only one reason you start a business. And I said, okay, what's that? And um, he said, to sell it. I said, well, that makes sense. So the only thing you're doing is building that capital appreciation for an exit strategy at some point in the future, and you're going to sell that. Now, you can create as many businesses as you want. It doesn't have to only be one business. But see, now that will have three types of income because you'll have direct, the money that you're earning directly. You'll have the residual because the business growth and capital appreciation will start growing residually. And the passive income comes from having, say, a corporation and the value of your own stock. So business creation is one dramatic way to increase your income. The second thing that is very important and vital is that you have your own personal bank. Now, in having a personal bank, you're going to create everything that you see here in this window is tax-free, everything. The liquidity, the immediate liquidity for opportunities or any reasons that you might have to use money will be there. So it's got liquidity, no questions asked. It doesn't pertain to the market. It has no risk on it. It'll be liquid. Okay. Now it won't be liquid dollar for a dollar, but 60 to 70, 80% growing. And then after, uh, you know, a decade, 15 years, it'll be a hundred, 120% of the money that's gone in. So you have full liquidity. Okay. It creates tax-free income. Now, that tax-free income, most people are looking at it for retirement purposes, but it's for any time, any place you want to use that type of income, you'll have the ability to create tax-free income in there, okay? Now, the other thing that you also have in this uh, in this personal bank of yours, you have uh, tax-free dollars that are there in case of a chronic, critical, or terminal illness. So if any of these events happen in life during that time, you have a bank to go to. Not a bank that you have to go uh, request, do any paperwork, you know, worry about your credit score, <clears throat> anything, no loans. The bottom line is this is yours. You borrow from yourself. It's your bank. Okay. So, and lastly, this creates generational wealth. Now, this type of bank, commonly referred to as infinite banking is the concept. This bank is created by a unique asset, which is life insurance. Okay, that unique asset creates all of these things. Now, there's nothing else in the financial world that creates this. Only life insurance. This is unique to life insurance. Everything you've probably heard about life insurance has been possibly negative and probably misguided. Is that safe to say? Have you heard a lot about life insurance in the past? Or uh, do you have any life insurance presently? Okay, and if you do, what type is it and why did you create that plan? Okay, so we know now that you need to create a business and have a personal bank. You're on your way to financial independence with these two steps, and both will increase your income. Now, let's look how to fund that. <clears throat> so really, that's our question today. Our question today is how do we fund that? Now, I show you what the bank looks like. You see the numbers. Now, <clears throat> you, those numbers are a little scary because <clears throat> I'm sure you're saying to yourself, well, I can't afford to put that much money away. No, <clears throat> and I wouldn't assume you do. But we, we're talking about increasing your income so you can fund that. <clears throat> and that's what we want to have happen. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, increasing your income. So there's several ways to fund this. Now, the first area we want to look at <clears throat> is your present assets. 
<clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> we want to see in your present assets, uh, do you have a qualified retirement plan? Um, well, what I mean by that is a 401k, IRAs, um, you know, uh, maybe a thrift plan, if, uh, you, you know, depending on who you're employed by, uh, those kind of things. Do you have any of that? No. We get that down at this point. We're talking about that. So yes, okay, that's good to know. You have uh, you have uh, a couple of hundred thousand dollars in your four hundred one k, and and that's uh, how much do you contribute monthly to that? Oh, about about eleven hundred dollars a month gets contributed to that, right? Directly from your pay. Okay, great. Now, do you have any savings? Okay. Uh, presently, we mentioned life insurance previously. Are you in an IUL? Do you have something like that that? Someone has come and talked to you about an IUL plan, life insurance. Okay. Uh, no. And uh, lastly, how about home equity? Do you have equity in your home right now? Now, it's important to know because, you know, right now with interest rates rising and, uh, and the market getting uh, thinner, um, it's probably the best time in the world. That's another bank for you. Your home is another bank. So it's probably a great time to take that money out because if you can make that money grow, um, then the use of that equity uh, will be really valuable to you because the equity itself, other than the growth in the real estate market, which could be slowed and it could be slowed for quite a while, that equity may not really be increasing as much as you'd like to see it increase. So you can put it to work for yourself in business or in something of that nature. Okay, great. Now, when people don't have anything on the funding side, we're talking strictly about increasing the income because they don't have anything on the funding side, then we we basically are just going to put in a term insurance policy and discuss certain things with them, okay? So in this case, let's just assume people have talked to us and said yes. Now, let me share with you why uh, I'm going to make the certain recommendations that I make. First of all, your qualified plan partners you with, the, uh, with Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam's your partner on that plan. And, and because of that, you get the opportunity to uh, put in tax deductible dollars, right? And it's going to grow uh, tax deferred. And basically at some point you're going to retire and you're going to take that income out. Now we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to have at least twice as much income at retirement and that income will be tax-free. Does that sound like something that'd be attractive for you? So at least twice as much income as you're going to get out of that 401k and it's also going to be tax-free. So we're going to discuss how to get that done. So that's why I'm going to talk to you about uh, shifting the funds from that tax qualified, those tax qualified dollars. And we're going to show you how to shift them totally tax free. And you can liquidate and get out of that partnership with Uncle Sam, which is uh, quite frankly, a bad partnership because Uncle Sam has all the rights and you have very little. It's almost like Uncle Sam can tell you exactly what to do with your dollars, when to do it with your dollars, how much taxes you got to pay for those dollars, even get to the point where Uncle Sam may tell you exactly what you can and can't invest in. So it's really not a great partnership. So it, it's the kind of partnership you'd like to dissolve. So we'll show you how to do that tax free uh, and get it into a business which is going to grow tax advantage income. It's going to grow capital appreciation and it's going to give you an exit strategy. Okay, and also part of it is going to be able to fund your own private bank. Does that make sense? Okay, so our three steps here, really what we're talking about is one, we're creating awareness. So that's what we're talking about today, uh, helping you become aware of things. So, you know, aware of the fact like this bad partnership with Uncle Sam, it's really not a great marriage, right? Uh, aware of how life insurance could benefit you and work into the future by having your own personal bank. So also aware of how business development can create tax advantaged income, uh, capital appreciation, and also an exit strategy, which would add on to your retirement. Okay. So at some point, so really we're talking about how to start. Then we're talking about the fact that we're, everything we're mentioning is going to increase your income. Nothing we're discussing today is about savings or about uh, paying down debt. It's about increasing income, repositioning that additional income to fund things that are going to help you become financially independent. Does that sound good? Okay. So that's by creating a business, creating your own bank, and of course, the funding of where that would come from. So 
Um, so that's where we are, and that's a basic consultation. From there, uh, from there, I would make recommendations, and the recommendations we're going to make is is how to move the money from the uh, qualified plans into um, into a business. Okay. And from that business, so so some of the discussion later is going to be about what type of business, uh, what what do they might may want to do, what you may want to do, um, possibly becoming a financial concierge is a business in and of itself. Okay, financial concierge should be doing the same thing I'm doing, <clears throat> and showing people how to increase their income, how to create a, a business, and how to create a bank. Um, but it might be some uh, a franchise; they may want to purchase a small franchise or something. We have access to all of that so we show people we figure out what it is they'd like to do what it is in business that they're comfortable with with their skills and all that good stuff and we plug them into a, a franchise so that is going to uh, happen that business is going to get created with uh, no taxation on the dollars coming out of the 401k going to get out of that bad partnership and no penalties okay and going to immediately start creating capital appreciation okay and then uh, we get to the <clears throat> discussion on the bank, and we've already shown a proposal in this in this uh, be prepared. I, I'm going to show a proposal so people can see what that proposal looks like, how much the annual premium uh, uh, broken down monthly, what kind of funding they need to do to increase their income to get the funding into their own bank, and what that looks like down at different stages. Okay, and basically the combination of the business and the bank, puts people in a position where they are financially independent. Now, I have um, hundreds of clients who are uh, now enjoying financial independence. Uh, I've got some uh, clients from my younger days that uh, got into planning um, 40 years ago, you know, early on 35, 40 years ago, and now are reaping the benefits of their tax-free income. And they're, they're very happy. They're very happy. So, I like everybody to read the book, theadvocacynet.com, the T H E advocacynet.com. The book is free. Um, normally, prior to having a consultation, it's good to have at least reviewed the book or looked through it because the book is going to talk to you and explain a lot of these concepts, help raise the raise the awareness. And then when we consult one on one, we consult about basically what the concepts are how to put the concepts in place, and then how to fund them, how to fund them. And if there are no funds available to fund them, how to get started on increasing the income so that within three months, four months, five months, six months, you can start funding um, your bank and you can also create your business, okay? You don't need big funds to create the business. But if you have those funds, the business is the shell that allows you to get it into them tax-free and not have to pay any penalties or taxes to uh, your partner, Uncle Sam, at least not at this point in time. Okay. So again, I'm Carl Schilling. I hope that this has helped uh, create some more awareness, open some eyes. Uh, it's a very sound concept. Any person in the middle class, regardless of where you're standing, can start and get themselves going on this type of plan. It's going in the end to make you financially independent if you learn that you need to increase your income. You need to have three types of income, direct, residual, and passive. And you need to create different asset classes so that you protect your business entity and at the same time create generational wealth for your family and have ability to have tax-free income. So again... Carl Schilling, thanks so much. Uh, any questions, please don't hesitate to call me, 321-947-3220. It's always me personally. I take my own calls. Okay, you're going to get me. And uh, basically, uh, check out the website, theadvocacynet.com. Get the book. Check out some other stuff on our website. And, uh, you know, let's talk. Let's talk. Nothing uh, Nothing happens till we at least discuss it. And certainly, um, you always have the choice. Choice is always yours. But if you want to become financially independent, this is the way to do it.